happy new year i am back it's 2020 and it's almost february but <laughs> i'm back and um i hope everyone year is starting off great i hope you guys are reaching your goals you have it all written down and you're on to a great journey but anyway i am here to discuss vitamins um i know we're also starting off trying to be more healthier eating healthy working out so i want to incorporate um vitamins into your um your daily lifestyle and um, i want to um talk about the vitamins that i enjoy taking that i think i am seeing um great benefits from and so yes um if you go back to some um a video back in september i did it was about um, a b12 deficiency and um i was dealing with a lot of nerve issues i was lightheaded and um, I realized that I had a B12 deficiency, an iron deficiency, and a vitamin D deficiency. And yes, it caught me all by surprise because I thought, well, I'm eating healthy, I'm trying to do everything right, and I'm still deficient. And <clears throat> with B12, I wasn't really, t I wasn't taking in a lot of meat, and I wasn't supplementing at, at all. So um, that um, I'm sure caused the B12 deficiency. But we also have to realize that we have to fill in those gaps. Um, with When we eat our vegetables, we have to fill in those gaps to make sure we are getting our proper, our proper nutrients, all of our vitamins. And because our soil is depleted, we don't get enough of the vitamins. So we have to fill in those gaps. So it is important, it is vital that we get, um, we take um, supplements, we take vitamins. You don't have to go overboard with it, but it is important to make sure that you supplement because your food, especially if you're getting vegetables from the grocery store, all of the vitamins, half of the vitamins are probably already depleted. So it's sad to say i mean i get my food from the grocery store if you're not growing it yourself and even then the soil is not the best you're not going to get all the vitamins so you have to supplement and so i wanted to share what i have been taking and um, i really feel that i'm getting benefits from it and the first thing i want to share is this liquid vitamin this is the mary ruse liquid morning multivitamin and i i love it my whole family loves it my kids take it i take two tablespoons of this every morning and my children take um, one tablespoon every morning so this is for my whole family we keep it you have to keep it in the fridge and it lasts for a month so i do a monthly subscription of this every month to make sure that we have it on hand because i love this stuff and it's very good the in, the ingredients in this is very clean and I love it. This is probably one of the best vitamins that I found that had, you know, very good um, ingredients, clean ingredients, because you have to know that when you are getting vitamins, yes, you, you're getting, when you are, you know, purchasing your vitamins, yes, you are getting the vitamins, but they also add other ingredients into the vitamins. So you want to make sure that what you are buying is clean as possible. And so I highly recommend this. Um, I get this, um, actually I do a subscription on Amazon and it's about um, $38 a, a month. So I love this stuff and yeah, I'm gonna continue to buy it for now. The next thing I like to get, the next thing I like to get is the, this is also by Mary Ruth and it is the B12, if I can focus with it. This is the Mary Ruth B12 spray. And you just spray like four sprays in your mouth and yeah, I love I love this. Um, I've been taking this for about a couple, I guess about two months now, and um, I'm having good results. Um, I'm still dealing with some nerve issues, but I feel taking this this spray is um, I don't know. I was taking um, a what was I taking a sublingual tablet under the tongue. I was taking that like from the beginning, that's all I would take. But 
I still wasn't really seeing the results with my nerve issue, so I decided to try this. And um, I honestly think it is helping. I think it is because it seems like my symptoms are not as bad as it as they were. And I know all B12 supplements are not equal. So I really think it may have something to do with this. I don't know, or you know, it just takes time for things to get better, which that is true as well. It takes time for your body because it didn't happen overnight. So it's gonna take a while for your body to get back congested. So I guess all of that goes hand in hand. Now, I forgot to tell you with the liquid vitamin, um, every you do have all the vitamins except you don't have iron. Iron is not included in this multivitamin. So you do, if you are deficient in iron or you want to get your iron at optimum levels, you want to take an iron supplement because this does not have iron, but it has everything in it has a lot of B vitamins, all your B vitamins. This is almost like a B complex because it has everything. <laughs> but um, I really I really like this. And I like the spray. My husband also takes this as well and it's just four, four sprays and you're done. And it's not a bad taste at all. And I like that it's in a glass bottle too. So um, the next thing, and since we're talking about iron, is um, I take the Solgar, Solgar Gentle Iron. And yes, it's only, if you can see it, ah, it's only 25 um, milligrams. So um, I take two of these a day and I take it with vitamin C. And um, I have to say my iron has increased. It was 11 um, in the, yeah, it was 11 like summertime, like July and now it's at um it's probably at 25 now the ferritin that's what i'm talking about my ferritin level which is that's the um iron that that's what's stored in your body so you kind of want that ferritin level to be um i guess in the range of 40 and 50 that's a good healthy and that also promotes hair growth which um i also feel that taking these vitamins have also helped with the um, breakage I was having with my hair because I was doing everything right um, with my hair. Um, nothing has changed and I was able to grow my hair to waist length with everything everything I was doing and all of a sudden everything just plateaued. It just started breaking off. But it was because of the iron. I was deficient in iron and I'm sure B12, all of that has something to do with it. But I really like these um, Gentle Iron um, Solgar and this does not, I, I am not constipated from this. This is really good on the, on the stomach. So, um, you know, some iron supplements, you know, can make you um, constipated. So we don't want that. So I actually recommend this. This is very gentle on the stomach. I have no problems at all and my ferritin is increasing. So I highly recommend this and you can find this at your um, whole food stores. Um, Sprout sells this as well if you have a Sprouts in your area. But yeah, you can definitely find this in your whole food store. Not the grocery stores, but whole foods. And yes, I love this. The next thing I take, um, and this would be the vitamin D supplements, and I like to take vitamin D3. Vitamin D3 is um, more easy to absorb than vitamin D2. Vitamin D3 is what you mainly need to um, support the vitamin D. Vitamin, you don't do vitamin D2. Stick to vitamin D3. I am not a doctor. I am not a um, nutritionist so I'm just going by what I have researched but vitamin D3 is where it's at this is what you want and what I'm taking is the vitamin D3 4000 now when I um, before um, I started taking these my vitamin D was um, 24 which is deficient and that was during the summer and I checked again and it's now probably like 36 or 37. And I also want to get those levels to about um, 40, 40 or 50 as well. Just to, because I want to make sure I don't become deficient. You know, especially in the winter time, you want to make sure your levels are good. 
during the winter. You don't want to get deficient. So I take the vitamin D3 4000. Um, and before you start taking vitamin D, you do want to make sure that you, you know, you are at a level where you may need to take these. You don't want to take these if you have optimal levels of vitamin D. So you want to be careful with that. So please check, get your blood work checked before you take your vitamin D, your vitamin D and your iron. You want to, you don't want those too high as well, the vitamin D and the iron. So you want to get your blood work checked to make sure that you need it. So I need it and I'm trying to get it to, um, better levels so this is what I take and and I also take um, vitamin K2 and this is the now brand I like now uh, I like to take the vitamin K2 along with the vitamin D because they work hand in hand um, the vitamin K2 MK7 it helps to distribute the calcium where it needs to go so um, on your own you can do research about why you should take vitamin D and the K2 and K7 but you do want to take these um, hand in hand because they work they work together so I don't like to take this so long and when I take vitamin D I like to take it with um, fatty foods like avocado um, I take it with sardines, you know, magnesium. Magnesium is good. I, I'll eat pumpkin seeds and magnesium. Um, I think avocado has magnesium as well. So I like to um, take something that's um, high in fat, but it's good for you with the vitamin D because it helps to absorb better. So yes, take the vitamin D and the MK7 together. <laughs> and the last thing, I don't take this all the time. Um, every now and then when I just feel I need to take one. These are the Soul, this is also the Solgar brand and this is the B Complex. So um, a B Complex in 50 and 50 is, um, it's a good healthy, um, I guess a healthy milligram to take. So I like to take the B Complex. You. You have all, you know, all the important B vitamins that you need, which B vitamins are very important. You need them to survive. <laughs> so, um, yes, a B complex um, and 50 milligrams is a very healthy um, supplement to take. And I, like I said, I don't take this all the time because my multivitamin also has a lot of B vitamins as well. So um, maybe like twice a month or three times a month I might take these but not often and so yes that that really includes all of my vitamins that I am taking at this time um I also like to take collagen um but I ran out so I didn't have that to share but next time maybe I can share the collagen that I take um I like to um take that mix that in my oatmeal or sometimes you can do it in coffee but anyway, um, those are my vitamins, and um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay healthy, stay focused, and stay blessed, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.